Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. The world belongs to God, the, the earth, earth and, and all, all its people. people. How good it is, how wonderful, to, to live, live together, together in unity. unity. Love and faith come together, justice, justice and, and peace, peace join hands. hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and our, and our mouths, mouths shall proclaim your, your praise. praise. Sing out my soul, sing with joy to the Lord. Sing of the greatness and goodness of God. Loving the Lord, who trust in his power. Alleluia. Sing out my soul, let your faith be confessed. Those yet unborn will declare how I'm blessed. To God's great bias I gladly attest. Alleluia. to poverty brings pregnant with justice my heart gladly sings Alleluia God who is faithful has come to our aid never forgetting the promise he made each generation sees mercy displayed Alleluia Move among us, God, give us life. Let, Let your, your people, people rejoice, rejoice in you. you. Give us again the joy of your help. With, With your, your spirit, spirit of freedom, freedom sustain, sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore, Restore us, us in body, body mind, mind and, and spirit. spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
with the whole church. We affirm that we are made in God's, God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere. We affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. Psalm 102 O God, hear my prayer. Be moved by my cry for help. Do not hide your face when I am in dire straits. Listen to my prayer. Be quick to make a response. My days vanish like smoke. My body is almost burnt out. I wither away like grass and forget to take any food. All day I groan out loud. I am nothing but skin and bones. Like a desert owl in waste places, like a lonely bird on the rooftop, I lie awake all alone. My enemies constantly taunt me. In their rage they conspire against me. My bread is ashes, my drink salt tears. You have lifted me up and thrown me aside. Do not leave me with my life half-lived, you whose life lasts for ever. Long ago you laid the earth's foundations, the heavens also are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you endure, your years will never end. Those who serve you and their descendants will remain in your presence for ever. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the Word and Wisdom of God. The reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 28, verses 23 to 31. When they had appointed a day for Paul, they came to him at his lodging in greater numbers. From morning till evening he expounded to them, testifying to the Kingdom of God, and trying to convince them about Jesus, both from the law of Moses and from the prophets. And some were convinced by what he said, but others disbelieved. And disagreeing among themselves, they departed after Paul had made one statement. The Holy Spirit was right in saying to your fathers, through Isaiah the prophet, Go to this people and say, you will indeed hear, but never understand, and you will indeed see, but never perceive. For this people's heart has grown dull, and with their ears they can barely hear, and their eyes they have closed. Lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and turn, and I would heal them. Therefore let it be known to you that this salvation of God has been sent to the Gentiles. They will listen. He lived there two whole years at his own expense and welcomed all who came to him, proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus with all boldness and without hindrance. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us, thanks, thanks be, be to, to God. God. Pour out, I will pour out my spirit, as shall be much more than it seems. Both sons and daughters shall prophesy, young and old shall dream dreams. Pour out, I will pour out my spirit, as shall be my 
much more than it seems. Both sons and daughters shall prophesy, young and old shall dream dreams. Pour out, I will pour out my spirit, as shall be much more than it seems. Both sons and daughters shall prophesy, young and old shall dream dreams. Pour out, I will pour out my spirit, as shall be much more than it seems. Both sons and daughters shall prophesy, young and old shall dream dreams. Jesus answered, Whoever has two shirts must give one to the person who has none. And whoever has food must share it. Share it. These gospel words from Luke 3, 11 sparks our reading the words of Peter Miller. The injunction of John the Baptist is part of a longer Advent reading, Luke 3, 7 to 18, which contains many other suggestions for living in the way of God. John was powerful in his message. He asked people to turn away from their sins. But that turning away was always linked to our everyday behavior. His message, as he prepared the way for Jesus, early about fine words, if we're to change under God's guidance, then what we do with our lives each day matters. It matters to God and to others, not merely fine words in words. Some years back, says Peter, when I was living in Gugalethu, a township near Cape Town in South Africa, I was struck all the time by the ways in which local folk soft up, faced up to their multiple sufferings. These words of John about giving your shirt, sharing your food, jumped right off the pages of the Bible into the very streets of Gugalethu. Despite its suffering, its violence, poverty. There, human love had many faces, as did AIDS, which affected many local families. I vividly remember, says Peter, chatting with a local older woman, herself a poor person, who over many years had taken into her home children orphaned by AIDS. Yet, to visit that home was to be in the presence of living compassion. It was a small, simple home on a crowded street, yet one in it one met Jesus. Wonderful woman had done far more than share her food and clothing. She had given her life, her few, her few possessions, her love, her laughter, and her wisdom to these kids who had nothing. And when we encounter such selfless love, it becomes clear that John the Baptist meant, as he spoke to the crowds on the banks of the River Jordan, 
a place today which, again, much, suffers much human suffering. The people were asking him how they could walk in God's way. Turn back from their failures. What are we to do then? They asked the prophet. He answered, Whoever has two shirts must give one to the person who has none. And whoever has food must share it. That friend in Gugaluthu, in her own tender way, invites us all to heed those words, to discover what really matters to them all. And in these days of preparation, adventure, advent, we too can pause, ask God to grant us hearts of deeper sharing, for we all know that we have much to give. And for some of us, at least, not so much time left to do the giving. Yeah. Let us pray. The words of Peter. Two shirts, Lord. Nah. Actually six. And a fridge stocked with food. And much more besides. So, are you surprised? I'm sometimes burdened and not as free as you would like me to be. Amen. Winter's Wisdom An Advent Invitation to foolish waiting. An invitation offered, a time to pause, to keep watch, to wait, and wait some more. We are not so good at the waiting, and waiting again and again seems so foolish. The world may call us fools, but we wait and wait again. Every year we repeat the waiting. Every year we see Christ born again in our lives and in our world. On the 14th day of the month, we pray for the Wild Goose Publications staff and for Coracle and our online and social media communications. We pray for the following countries and their peoples, Suriname, Guyana, French Guiana, Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Brazil and Bolivia. And we pray for members belonging to the family group of Pentland. Nick Bowery, Jean Oliver and Douglas Shaw, Moira Collette Wilkie. And on the 14th day of this month, we pray for associate members in the United States of America. Midwest Group. Walk with them today, O oh God, and keep us on your way.
O Christ, the master carpenter, you at the last, through wood and nails, crafted our whole salvation. Wield well your tools in the workshop of your world, so that we who come rough-hewn to your bench may here be fashioned to a truer beauty of your hand. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We, we will, will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings, offerings that, that cost us nothing. nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek, seek peace and, and pursue it. it. In the name of the Trinity of love, God, God in community, community, holy and one.